Hi, good evening. Welcome to the year six meeting. I'm um, just wondering if you could just put the hand up just so that we know that you can hear us before we start. Fabulous. Thanks. Right. Welcome to year six. We thought we would start um, by showing you a video which we've put together, um, which just shows the sorts of things that we're doing in year six. Obviously, normally at this point, you would have been able to come into the classroom. You'd have been able to have a little look at the displays. Um, look to see what the children have been doing. So we thought it'd be nice to give you a flavour of Year 6. So we're just going to show you the video first. Just having technical issues of getting it <laughs> set up.
we hope you enjoyed seeing that. We just thought it'd be a nice way for you to start seeing some of the things that we're doing in year six. I know as a parent, I'm finding it a little bit tricky not being able to go in and see where my sons are. So it's, it just gives you a little bit of an overview of what our days in year six are like. Um, we're going to put up a PowerPoint, which we'll go through. If you've got any questions, if you want to put them in the chat, we can then check them at the end and hopefully we'll be able to answer them. And if we can't, we can send an email or a message afterwards so that we can answer them. So in year six, um, I'm Mrs Jones and I teach uh, one of the classrooms Monday to Thursday. On a Friday, my class is taught by Mrs Reed and Mr Brown. Um, I'm Miss Crane and I teach Monday to Friday. Um, and I also teach Friday afternoon. I sometimes do French, but this time I'm going to be doing geography, um, both classes at a time. We're really, really lucky that we've got a lot of extra adult support this year. Some of those adults are designated to specific children, but we are also able to use them to work with small groups um, so they can lead interventions. We can use them to do some of the gap filling. So we're really, really pleased that we've got them. So we've got Mrs Young, Mrs Roberts, Mr Ballard, Miss Taverner, Miss Jones and Mrs Brew. So in year six, your child is obviously another year older. So the expectations are slightly different. So the first thing that we're really expecting is for them to be a little bit more independent. We're expecting them to be listening really carefully to the input, asking any questions, making sure they're really clear on what they need to do but then getting settled to their work a lot quicker, thinking about what they can do to help themselves. Um, most lessons, we're trying to um, work with them to think about the, the sorts of things they can use before relying on an adult. So we are calling it the three before me and we brainstorm together some things that they can try before putting their hand up. So it's things like using the working walls in the classrooms, looking at any waggles or any modelled rights we've done together, there might be resources in the classroom. If it's maths, it might be a hundred square or a multiplication square. It might be using a thesaurus, using a dictionary. Also encouraging them to talk to the person next to them. They might be able to explain it in a different way and to try at least one or two of those things before just instinctively asking for an adult to help. Um, learning attitude we're really pushing this year as well. And it's just taking a little bit of a more mature approach to their learning being really keen, being really proactive and trying to challenge themselves. So, for example, in maths, if they've got the example done really quickly, what could they do to make it harder for them? Could they use bigger numbers? Could they show it in a different way? Could they turn it into a word problem? So it's all the time trying to get their learning even better. Um, a really good example of being proactive is um, we have got a couple of children in my class particularly who are downstairs in the mornings with Mrs Pike and Mrs Reed in the third group. And if they haven't understood something in the morning, they will come up and they will say to us in the afternoon, can we have a few minutes with you just to go over something? Again, there's children in click who've been struggling on certain things and they've been really proactive and said, can we have some of your time? Can you go over something with us again? So it's all of these sorts of attitudes that we're trying to encourage them. Um, behaviour is obviously a key one. Um, we're really pleased that they've come back in and they're generally very settled. Things at school are different. The way the classroom is set up is different. We're in rows, but they've adapted really, really well. It's a little bit tricky in that normally year six would be providing a really strong role model to the rest of the school. Obviously, because of the bubbles, we're not as visible to the rest of the school, but we're still expecting the children um, to be walking around the school carefully, still expecting them to be showing a lot of um, respect, thinking about what they can do to be a role model to the other children. The other really big thing that we've been pushing this year, which you would have seen on the video, is the learning pit. So we've been talking to the children about their learning and about the fact that when you challenge yourself, there will always be things that you find hard. And actually it's okay to find things hard. And even as adults, there are things that we find hard. And we've been describing it as being a little bit in a pit, being at the bottom of a pit. And that just means that you're right at the bottom. You don't think you can do it. We've been saying to them, it's not that you can't do it. It's just that you can't do it yet. And what sorts of things can you do to help yourself get out of the pit? So it's looking for those little small steps that they can take in order to allow themselves to get out of the pit and to be successful in their learning. Okay, so homework this year, they get one lot of maths and one lot of English. 
and um, it's normally something to do with what they have been doing in school um, that week. Um, English sometimes is a reading comprehension or something to do with grammar or it might be a writing activity. It's really important that if they don't understand something when they get it that they come and ask an adult the following day and not leave it just the day before it's supposed to be handed in. Um, it's handed out on a Wednesday and then it's due in the following Tuesday. So it gives them some time to get it done. Um, it's the reading. Um, we expect them to read a few minutes most nights. And we're really impressed with um, the children for doing that. Um, five nights of the week, it would be great if they can read. Um, just one detailed comment a week, though. Um, but every time that they do read, it's really important that they write the title of the book, the page and the date. Um, we've got um, for their ZPD, they do ZPD quiz. And if they score 10 out of 10 five times, they hop along a bookshelf, which is um, on one of the working walls. And they will get a prize when they hit um, a plant pot that's supposed to be on that bookshelf. So that's just to really encourage them. And we've got some children that have already moved along. So that's really, really good. OK, topics this term. Um, last term was go with flow. This term, it's dragons. And they seem to be really into this. Um, in English, we've been looking at Tell Me a Dragon, doing lots of descriptive writing. And we're just coming to the end of that descriptive writing. And um, today they were actually writing about their own creature, and putting everything that they've learned into that piece independently. Reading, they're reading No Such Things as Dragon, and we do that as a whole class by Philip Reeve. Um, in art, they're doing lots of um, drawings of dragons and dragon, dragon eyes, um, and we will be making clay dragon eyes with them. Um, in maths, we've been looking at fractions, decimals and percentages and the work that we've just the homework we sent home is to do with that. So if they do find it quite tricky. Um, they can ask us about that the rest of the week. Um, last term, we've been looking at lots of the written methods for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. And it's really, really important that they keep practicing these, um, particularly for the arithmetic paper in SATs. Um, and then we will still be practicing them um, during click sessions in the week as well. In science, we're looking at electricity. Um, and they've, today they've been writing this one in Edison's story, looking at that, um, a mind map for that. In DT, um, we're making a working lighthouse. Hopefully that goes well. Mm. And um, in ICT, we'll be looking at internet safety. Um, music, they're doing Garage Band with Mr. Brown on Friday. Um, PSHE um, is really important. Well, we thought it was important um, to really get them settled back at school and the transition to year six, as they have missed out a lot during lockdown. And it's really important that we look after their mental well being. Um, I know some of the parents have asked about um, sex education and puberty, but we will be looking at that after Christmas. Okay, so there are lots of different ways that you can help your child at home and thank you to all of you for doing extra things at home with them. It really does make a difference in school, even if it's just you asking them to show, to show you something they've done at school, show you a method that they've been using. All of these different things are really helping, particularly in maths at the moment where we've been doing our formal written methods. One of the things that's been slowing the children down is their times table facts. So what we've said to them is actually times table linking with everything. It links in with our long multiplication, our long division. We've now moved on to fractions and they're beginning to see the links with the fractions. So as many times as they can go on TT Rockstars during the week as they can, that would be brilliant. Um, obviously, um, listening to your child read, but also um, it's at this year that sometimes um, reading to your children sometimes drops off a little bit. And I know there's so many busy things going on. I often you know, have to make a real effort with my boys at home. But if you can read to them as well and maybe enjoy books together, it's really helping to increase their reading for pleasure. And I've been speaking quite a lot to my class and saying we really want to crack it this year so that when they go to secondary school, their, um, their, their reading is better and they're enjoying it, which means it, it will open up all the other subjects to them. We've continued to do the spellings daily in class and we're using the year five and six lists. Some of the children are looking at some of the three fourth words, spelling words still, or looking at some of the high frequency words. We're continuing to do those daily and they're using the look, cover, write, say, check method as well. Um, we will send the list home over the next couple of days. 
We've also been looking at some of the high frequency words and looking with them at what parts of the words they're finding tricky. Um, and I know in my class, we do struggle with some of our basic spellings. So if you ask your children, we've got about 12 spellings that we are doing every single day just to try and get them really into their heads. Another way of looking at spellings is to ask them a synonym of the word. So a word that means the same as that word and see what sorts of words they can come up with. Making sure they understand the word. Can they use the word in the right context? Um, linked in with the reading, when we are in year six, we start looking at key skills and there are nine key skills that we start to look at. And these key skills are really different ways of reading. They are different ways that are going to generally help their understanding. And they are also the key skills that um, will be looked for in the SATS papers. So we've started looking with them at the different types of questions that they might get and how they really need to unpick the questions and really understand what the questions are asking them to do. Um, and we will send those key skills home for you to look at too. Um, another crucial way is actually making sure that they've completed their homework, asking them for their homework. They should have all had their homework tonight, um, encouraging them to find a time that's good to do it. So I have some children every week who do it on a Wednesday night and they bring it back on a Thursday. I also have other children who do it at the weekend. So finding a time where it fits in, to, in with your family plans and just making sure they've completed it. Um, encouraging them to come and ask for help if they're stuck with it and just making sure that it does end up back in school. So just some other important things. Um, we do PE on a Monday and this term um, we'll be doing hip hop, so dance. And on a Thursday, um, it's outdoor PE. And because it's getting a bit cold, they might need to bring in their joggers as opposed to shorts. Although we do know some of them like to still wear shorts. Mm -hmm. um, and then uniform. Um, I know some of them are wearing trainers. Um, and that's fine if you're um, getting some new school shoes. But um, it's a no trainers policy. So um, it's really important that they look smart. Um, the residential. Um, I know lots of the children are asking and it is yet to be confirmed, um, obviously, with everything that is going on. But we will be planning something, even if it does have to be in school. So um, they won't be missing out too much. But I know it is really unfortunate for them. But we will plan for them to do um, something. Um, another thing is Google Classroom. Um, they've done lots of work with Google Classroom. Um, we've set some work on it and I know Mr Brown does a lot of music setting his work on there um, and it's really important that they know how to use it so if you ask your child if they could show you it or show them show how to use it and um, that'd be really helpful and then if they can't we can then help them um, in school and we'll um, upload any work if your child is isolating and it's really important that they do that um, so that so that when they come back and um, they've not missed out um, and if schools were to close we will be setting um, work every day as if they were in school okay. but the school have changed to use Google Classroom um, because it offers um, a lot more scope in terms of learning so when we were doing the emails it was really nice for us to receive the emails from the children but actually the children didn't really necessarily have a way of communicating with each other and learning with each other Google Classroom has a chat facility, which means as they're learning, they can be typing questions to each other. They can be asking each other for help. We can be helping them in that way. And it's very instant. It also, it allows us they have to submit their work to us um, and then we can actually mark it on the screen and then we can make a comment and we can send it back. We can get them to um, to make any corrections that they need to make. So it will just make it a lot easier. The expectation for work if your child is isolating or if our bubble had to close or if um, schools were all closed, the expectation is a lot higher this time. So the work will look a lot different. It will almost be a full school day with things being put on, PowerPoint points being put on for them, worksheets being put on for them. But it's just to make sure that actually no learning is being missed. And we understand that obviously if children are having to isolate at home and they're not actually poorly, they might be waiting for test results or they might be having to isolate because they've been in contact with people. It's not fair if they're missing their learning. So their work will go on Google Classroom and it will be the same work that we're doing in the classroom. Your child should have brought home their login slip in their reading journals. If they haven't, you need to check with them and just check that they can get online. Generally, we are really, really impressed with how well they have settled and how well they've come into year six. 
Um, we were a little bit worried, thinking, you know, they've had such a lot of time off and how are they going to come back in? What sorts of things have they experienced? How are they going to adapt to the different changes? But they have been really, really brilliant. And we found that actually there's been lots of positives. Because we are having to stick to our bubbles, it means that we've got an area of the playground, an area of the field that we're designated. And what we have found is actually the children are forging really, really strong friendships with each other. Whereas before we might have had small groups of children and there might have been children who um, came out after having lunch and couldn't necessarily find someone to play with because there's such a wide area. They're all coming out together. They know exactly where they are and they're playing really big whole year games and everyone's getting involved. Another positive is that actually the staff that are manning the bubble at lunchtime are year six staff. They're staff that are working with us all the time. So it's either Miss Crane or myself, or it will be one of our adults, one of our TAs. So we all know the children really, really well. We know what issues there are. We know what to look out for. Um, so it does mean that the play times and the break times have been a lot more settled and a lot more positive experiences. Again, with them all eating in the classroom together, they're having really good conversations. We've got loads of different games for them to play that they can sit down and play. We've got card games, we've got dominoes, we've got stackers, and actually they're getting on really, really well. So we're really, really impressed with them. And we can see that actually they are going to be really fantastic yeah. year six. And we're really, really proud of them, really pleased with how they're getting on. As always, if there's anything that you know you're worried about any issues at home please do come and see us or drop us an email and we will get back to you because it's important that we nip things in the bud before they they turn into bigger things okay thank you for um joining the meeting um if you have any questions just put them in the chat box and then we will um and answer them if we can